Hello everybody, Amzo Adam here. In today's edition of Love Jug Tech, we're gonna be discussing what love jugs are and why you need them. Love Jugs is the world's most powerful and effective V-twin cooling system in the world. Now they are designed for Harley Davidsons and Indians with the V-twin air-cooled engines. As you know, air-cooled engines need air, hence the name. When you're at low speeds or stop speeds, they tend to not have the air supply that they need and they're going to increase engine temperature fairly rapidly. This causes two problems. One, it makes the rider uncomfortable and two, it causes a lot of overheating issues with the engines, oil deterioration, and ultimately possibly engine failure. So the more air you can supply an air-cooled motor, the longer the life of the engine is going to be and the more comfortable your ride will be. If you own a Harley or an Indian that is air-cooled and even the Harleys with the liquid cooled heads still need massive amounts of airflow to maintain safe operating temperature love jugs is the product for you today we're going to be talking more about those love jugs and how they fit on your motorcycle and which ones to choose for your bike and it's actually pretty simple a lot of people think that there's a certain model for a certain motorcycle and 90 percent of the time it's just not the case love jugs are designed to work with almost any harley davidson that has the horn on the left side of the engine with the factory horn cover now, if you have an aftermarket horn cover, it may prove to be a little more challenging to mount them, but we've been pretty lucky in making others fit. But keep in mind, if you have a factory horn on the left side of the motorcycle, love jugs will fit. The different models of love jugs are really for aesthetics in your choice. It has nothing to do with the model of motorcycle that they fit on. So it doesn't matter if you have a soft tail, a street glide, a road glide, a tri glide. If you have a horn on the left side, the Harley Davidson fitments will work for you. So here are your options. We have the original series which starts with the slot design and even the bullet tip design. Now, both of these fan units are exactly the same, only different decorative face plates. So you can choose which one you think is gonna work best with your motorcycle. This is also the unit that Love Jugs originally introduced and all of the claims that Love Jugs makes on how well their product work is based on this unit. If you have an overheating problem, they're definitely gonna help you. Then we have our second generation, which we call the Coolmaster. The Coolmaster is 15% smaller, but it's actually 10% more powerful. Now the Coolmaster is available in the polished stainless steel, just like the originals were. It's also available in the powder coated gloss black and the powder coated flat black. In. These add even more airflow than the originals do, so they work fantastic. The third generation we have, is the Mighty Might series. This is the smallest versions that we make. They're made of aluminum rather than stainless steel um, and just have a much smaller footprint and a slightly lower price point. But again, all of these models I've discussed work with the OEM or similar horn covers. You'll see some of these have slightly different horn covers on them, but they all fit just like the OEM. All right, everybody, and as a recent addition, Love Jugs finally just produced a version for the Milwaukee 8 Softtails. Now, as you know, they do not have the horn on the left side, they have an ignition coil instead. So we created a line specifically to that motorcycle. And this is the first time that any Love Jug product has been model specific. So this model will only work with the 2018 and newer Softtail line with the ignition coil on the left side. They are based on the Mighty Mike design, so they're small and discreet. They come in the chrome and the powder coated flat black Hi. hey guys amzel adam here again today in love jugs tech we're going to be talking about the different mounting systems now as you know most love jugs mount directly to the horn assembly and in 90 percent of the cases that works fantastic but there are a few motorcycles that we do recommend some additional mounting hardware if you have a 2008 through 2016 touring model that means street glide tri glide road glide does not include soft tails, dynas, or sportsters. We strongly recommend the use of a frame mounting kit. This is the frame mounting kit here. Instead of having the OEM bracket that mounts to your engine, which is where the love jugs would mount, with this mount of the engine, it shakes really bad. So with the frame mounting kit, it changes the attachment to the frame, and then the love jugs in your horn assembly would mount here, and none of this is really visible on the motorcycle. But the 2008 the 2016 Touring models shake pretty violently, and this is the right way to do it. Yes, the Love Jugs will fit without it, but this is the right way to do it. We also have a version designed for the 2014, 15, and 16 water-cooled heads. 
It's the same basic design. However, it's got a few extra bends in it to clear the water pipes going into the head. Remember, these only work on 2014 through 2016 touring models. If you have anything other than that, this is not an option for you and you do not need it. We also have the Vibration Master. This is a double mount system. So inside here, there are two of the rubber mounts, just like you would see here. This will work on almost all Harley-Davidson models with a few exceptions. The only time there's a little challenge there is if you have the choke knob or some of the fuel lines on some of the older models there. It's not absolutely necessary on any model, but it's a good addition on some of the models that cannot use the frame mount kit. This would be a good option to go to. So if you have a 2007 or older touring model, there is a motor mount attached to that bracket up top and you cannot use the frame mounting kit, nor do you really need it. And if you have a 2017 or newer Harley-Davidson Touring model with the Milwaukee 8 engine, it physically will not fit again as well, nor is it needed. They counterbalance that engine and vibration control is no longer so much of an issue. Hey guys, Amzal Adam again here. And in this edition of Love Jugs Tech, we're gonna be talking about wire harness adapters. We get a lot of questions where people don't understand where to plug in or wire in their love jugs. So we're gonna to try to make it simple here. If you have a 1991 through 2013 touring model, your bike will have a plug that looks just like that under the seat, just forward of the battery. This plug is already wired to the uh, accessory switch on the touring models. So the love jugs already have the mate to that end built into them. So on those model motorcycles from 1991 to 2013, you should not need any additional wire harness adapters on the touring models because they will just plug right in and it's pretty simple. Now 2014 Harley-Davidson switched to a CAN bus electrical system and they took away that four pin plug but underneath the left hand side cover there is an eight pin plug that this will plug into. So the eight pin wire harness adapter simply plugs into the motorcycle and then your love jugs will plug in here. This will only allow power to go to the units when the key is turned on so if you leave the switches that are on the fan units in the on position, they will only have power when the system is turned on. Brings us to 2017 and newer. Harley-Davidson decided to change the wiring harnesses again. And so now we have a three pin wire harness adapter that still has the four pin on the other side. This will plug in behind the right hand side cover on the touring models. Again, key power only. So this plugs into the motorcycle, your love jugs plugs into here simple and clean. In addition to those, we have the six pin wire harness adapter. So it has a six pin plug that will then go to the four pin that's on the love jugs. This will work on almost all 2014 and newer motorcycles with few exceptions. This will plug in behind the left hand side cover to the diagnostic port, which has an accessory circuit built into it, assuming that you don't have anything plugged into it already. Now for non touring models, they don't always have the accessory plug in there. Some of the Dyna switchbacks do, but when you get into Sportsters and Softtails, it's very hard to find a plug-in for them. What I recommend is using a fuse tap. This is not a device that Love Jug sells, but you can pick it up at most local hardware stores or automotive stores, and you can remove the accessory fuse. You can plug this into the fuse box. You add the fuse that you removed back in the block. You can then add an additional fuse that will fuse the accessory that we're adding, i.e. the Love Jugs. Now you have to remove the plug from the love jugs and then wire directly into this and then use the chassis ground and that will give you power on Sportsters, Dynas, Softtails in the easiest manner. All right guys, thank you for watching. I hope that these tips helped you get the proper selection of the love jugs and the accessories that you need. And uh, we wanna get you cool and get you running down the road.